there's been a horrible, horrible murder in the Tarantula Cave. Those of you who tune into my recent live breeding attempt video will have seen that I paired Diva, uh, my big, big salmon pink bird eater tarantula, to a male that I was given by a lovely guy called Gary Vile, who I found on Facebook, who was giving away his male for the sole purpose that he felt that that spider should get to live its life to the full and, and basically breed with a female to do what nature intended and have a proper purpose to its life. So I willingly took that male, mature male, back to the tarantula cave and he's been with me for a few weeks now, merrily getting fed up and watered and just making sure he was settled in before I tried to breed him to Diva. And similarly, I was just trying to feed Diva with as much food as possible because I did not, did not, did not want her to eat him during the breeding attempt. So those of you who tuned in will have seen that he did an amazing job. You know, I didn't know what to do. I've never bred this species before. I um, introduced the two tarantulas together by getting the male up to the edge of Diva's enclosure and he was in the right place and he kept rocking and he was sussing her out. She was much bigger than him, like four times his size easily, I would think. Um, so I was wishing him luck and I'm sure those of you who tuned into the live video were also wishing him luck and um, He charged in like an absolute trooper Did the deed scrambled for it got himself stuck in the door Everyone's heart stopped because we thought oh my god is she gonna is she gonna eat him? Is this gonna happen now? Squeezed his way out and then I had to end the live video. So for those of you who didn't see the live video This is what it looked like oh, We got movement. Oh, he's going for it She's got big fangs. Jesus. Come on, you ledge. That is mental. It's not going though. He's taking his time. Come on, buddy. intervene there, he's basically got himself stuck in the door. Do not try and fit through there, you do not fit through there. Oh. 
okay, this is bad, I need to intervene. Because he is not going to fit through there. Oh, no, he's going to try to. Oh, crazy. So, what a trooper. What an amazingly bold little spider. I was well proud of him. However, the problem was that on the live chat, there was no audio, so people couldn't hear what I was saying, and because I'd never bred this species before, I didn't actually realise that he'd probably done the job. All I thought had happened was that he went in, tried to mate, didn't manage, and ran away because she was so big, and was kind of keen to try again, so he was clambering up the side of her tank, and it looked like he was going to have another go, but he couldn't get any purchase on the glass. So I helped him, stupidly, because no one could hear me saying, are they done, are they done? I helped him back to the entrance of the enclosure, and then, unfortunately, he was clambering up the side and fell in. And the minute he hit the ground, Diva just instantly struck and nailed him. So, for me, no, nobody saw it on camera. I'd stopped the live by then, but I was literally in some kind of shock and basically yelling in my spider room because I've never seen a female tarantula kill a male before. And the fact that he'd done such a good job before made me think it would be the same the second attempt um, and it wasn't so I had to witness that and it was pretty awful thankfully I'm part of the amazing tarantula YouTube community and it's full of lovely people with a huge amount of experience and so I was messaging um, Gar from Predator or Prey online definitely a channel you should check out and also Dean from Dean's Tarantulas, who has a fantastic channel, lots and lots of breeding videos on Dean's channel. He knows what he's doing perfectly. And Dean had messaged me to say, oh, I've just watched the live video, congratulations, looks like you've got a good insertion there, great stuff, it happens so quick with this species. Um, and so I was saying, oh no, she totally killed him. Um, and he was like, well actually, uh, it's probably fine because with Lasiodora paraibana they're very very quick in and out done there's no faffing around so you should be okay so that made me feel tons better and Gar has also bred loads of spiders before and he was saying you know it happens don't beat yourself up it's all that males are meant to do they're meant to breed and sometimes they get eaten so it's what happens but I am a little bit kicking myself for putting him in the second time because I probably didn't need to do that and that's my own naivety um, but it's a learning curve and it's true that ultimately you know if he was successful Diva might have 2,000 baby spiders you know between one and 2,000 eggs so he'll have more than made up for himself that is the hope so we will be watching Diva like a hawk I also obviously contacted Gary who gave me the mail and he was very very pleased actually that he'd managed to breed and wasn't too upset about the fact that he died in the end because he was kind of thinking well at least he died happy kind of thing he got to do what he was going to do so that was really lovely to get that support um it meant a lot so although you hear a lot of stuff about female tarantulas eating males sometimes people don't really get to see that much and it's kind of gross, but I felt it would be wrong not to share the footage, just to sort of, I think, as a kind of warning for people to uh, to be prepared for what can happen when you try to breed tarantulas. So I did get the following video of Diva kind of eating him. Biologically, it makes kind of a lot of sense because she's now got to produce a huge amount of eggs, and so she would need the nutrition to do that, despite being pretty well fed. So she was eating him, you know, from the point where she pounced on him and over the course of the next day. And now her abdomen is massive. So he's been put to very good use. Here's the video.
I hope you found that interesting. It's been a while since I tried to breed any tarantulas. I do have several on my list to breed in the next few weeks and I will be doing some of those as live videos for sure so definitely stay tuned for those. Hopefully I'll get the chat sorted out on the YouTube live so that you guys can hear me properly again and it's not being filmed in portrait mode because that was really annoying. So what are your guys experiences of breeding tarantulas? If you've never done it before, are you willing to try? Would you willingly sacrifice one of your males to help someone else breed their tarantula? Let me know below. I'll see you next time.